We'd like to take this time to share the stories of two individuals, two people who have never met until today. The bond between them is one that can never be broken. I would ask the firefighter James Wiles of Engine 162 to join me on stage. The FDNY considers itself an extended family, one that looks out for each other. The FDNY and the New York Blood Center hold dear the same mission, saving lives. One small act has such a significant impact to another. One act of love and kindness for another human being is what bonds us together. So it is with that sentiment that I, we welcome little Miss Elise Marie Rose to our family, the fire department family. Elise is here with her mom, Deborah, dad, Troy, and her 12-year-old brother, CJ. The gift of life from one person to another. We ask that Elise and her family come out and meet firefighter James Wiles. I would like to introduce the Chairman of the Board of Trustees at the New York Blood Center, Mr. Howard Milstein. Uh, thank you, Mary. And good morning to everyone. What a truly remarkable story and how privileged we are to be part of this heartwarming meeting. Uh, as you saw from uh, our President's remarks, uh, which he kept concise. Uh, Will Rogers once said, uh, be prompt, be brief, and be seated. <laughs> but I think I'll take a moment uh, to dwell on uh, the miracle uh, that happened that we saw today. The brave men and women of the FDNY protect our lives and property each day. FDNY provides a critical service to all New Yorkers, and I know I speak for all of us today, when I say a hearty thank you. Your heroism and dedication is truly an inspiration to all of us. As chairman of the New York Blood Center, I also know how essential our own work is to keeping our community safe, healthy, and prepared. NYBC is proud to serve our diverse and dynamic population of more than 20 million people. 2,000 blood donations a day are collected and distributed to partner hospitals throughout the five boroughs and as far away as Pennsylvania, the Hudson Valley, and the eastern tip of Long Island. We're also home to world-class research, medical education, and the nation's first and largest uh, public cord blood bank. We're a local, regional, national, and global resource. Our partnerships with organizations such as the FDNY help us to fulfill our mission and help to save lives every day. Today we continue a great tradition of honoring the marrow and stem cell donors of the FDNY, a list that continues to grow. Through the meetings between donors and recipients, we've seen just what these gifts mean to patients, families, and communities. That's why we've honored you in the past, why we do so now, and why we will continue to recognize your selfless acts of giving. Today, we induct six new members to the honor roll, bringing the total number of New York's bravest donors to 140. An astounding 13% of the New York Blood Center's bone marrow stem cell donors have come from the ranks of the FDNY. For an agency that accounts for less than 1% of our city's population, that's a very big number. Most recipients of bone marrow or stem cells never get the chance to meet their donors. The fact that 140 FDNY firefighters have given without question 
and have done so knowing they will likely never meet the person they have saved, makes these gifts all the more meaningful. Each one of these donors has gone above and beyond the call of duty and all deserve our thanks. <laughs> On behalf of all the patients served by the New York Blood Center, we're proud to induct this year's new members to the honor roll of life. I now ask my colleague, NYBC President and CEO, Dr. Chris Hillier, Fire Commissioner Cassano, and Chief of Department Edward Kilduff to join me in unveiling the honor roll of life. I invite Mark Qualwasser, who was responsible for founding this amazing program over two decades ago, to read aloud the names of the firefighters uh, that we are adding this year. Morning. It's a great honor to do this. Uh, when I read your name, please stand up. Joseph P. Collins. Francis M. Morrissey. Joseph W. Boyd. Michael D. Kimball. Kyle R. Esquel. And Salvatore Belmonte. Do it again right now if I had to. 